Silver price continues to fall. It is now at its lowest point for the year, below $23 an ounce. We are also seeing gold get crushed today. It is nearing that $2,000 mark once again. So how low can these metals go? And also, what is dragging them down to begin with? Let's get into it. The worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1986. We're now down 43%. This could be the most serious recession in decades. Protect your retirement with gold and silver IRAs. Learn more at sdbullion.com slash IRA. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. This is the chart for silver this year. And as you can see, we have now reached the lowest point on the chart. Uh, 2288 was the previous low back on the 11th of January. But uh, we are now decisively under $23 an ounce. Gold, as I pointed out, nearing that $2,000 mark. Can it go below $2,000? Yes, it absolutely can. Can silver continue to move down? Can it go below $20 an ounce back into the teens? I think it can as well. So what is the reason that these metals are getting obliterated? The first thing I like to do is look at the US dollar index. Now, as I pointed out in previous videos, silver basically does the opposite of whatever the dollar is doing. So because silver is down, we can expect the dollar to be up. And that is exactly what we see. The dollar is moving up. I believe it is now the highest it has been all year. Yeah, so there you go. It makes sense. The dollar is the highest it's been all year. Silver is the lowest it's been all year. But why is the dollar moving up? What is causing the dollar to gain strength? The big thing that happened today was the new report from census.gov. This is the United States Census Bureau, and they released these reports talking about retail sales, food services, etc. This is essentially a snapshot of how the economy is doing. Now, this isn't the end all be all. There's obviously inflation and other factors, but if we look at just this report, is it telling us that the US economy is doing better or worse? Down here in the report, we see retail trade sales were up 0.6% from November, 2023. So they do account for the holidays, right? Obviously during Christmas, people are gonna spend more money than during Thanksgiving, I guess you could say. But uh, they factor all of that in, they adjust for it. And so the prediction was that retail trade sales were only going to be up 0.4% while the report came out saying that they were up 0.6%. So they beat expectations. This is essentially telling the Fed that the economy is doing all right. You don't need to start slashing rates. Everything is fine. We can hold off on the rate cuts, which is obviously going to make the dollar stronger. When we move over to the CME Group FedWatch tool, we can see the target rate probabilities have adjusted. They're basically saying that at the next Fed meeting on January 31st, that there is not going to be a rate cut. Look at this, 97.4% chance that rates are going to stay parked. Now, previously, they were thinking there's definitely going to be a rate cut in March. But now when we look at the percentages, they're saying it's almost neck and neck. Are rates going to stay the same or move down? Well, there's a lot more data that's going to come out between now and March. We're going to get January inflation. We're going to get February inflation numbers. And all that is going to play a role in what the Fed does at the March meeting. So are rates going to go down? Maybe maybe not if they don't go down this means we could see precious metals fall even further because it would strengthen the dollar so you're gonna have to keep an eye on these reports as they come out if we fast forward to may we can see they're predicting yeah at this point in time rates are definitely going to be coming down how far down will they be not sure but again there's a lot of things that can affect these percentages and what the fed will actually do when these meetings roll around now this is in my opinion the biggest thing that is affecting precious metals prices right now obviously geopolitical events can have a big role but right now everyone is looking to the dollar 
and the Fed. What is the Fed going to do? What is the dollar going to do? That will tell you what precious metals are going to do. So have we hit the bottom for silver or will silver continue to move down? Well, I think silver definitely can continue to move down, especially if the dollar continues to move up. How low can silver go? I certainly think it could move back down into the teens, but I would take this as a buying opportunity. For me personally, when I see the price going down, I love to make more purchases because I can simply get more silver for my money. And as I dollar cost average and grow my stack, I rejoice when I see the lower prices because ultimately I think silver can and will go a lot higher than it is right now now here is the five year chart for silver and what i want to do is talk about the absolute bottom what is the lowest that silver price could theoretically go what if the fed decides you know what inflation is too much of a problem we can't slash rates at all you know we're even going to raise rates more from where they are now and we see the dollar get stronger and silver get pushed down 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 well, during COVID, we saw silver move all the way down to $12 and 12 cents an ounce. Now this is the paper price for silver. The paper markets determine the price for physical silver. It doesn't sound like that should be the way it is, but that's the reality of the world we live in. So when silver went down to $12 an ounce, could you actually buy silver for 12 bucks an ounce? No, because premiums went up. The cheapest I saw was like $14.50 an ounce or something like that. But regardless, could silver hold this low price? The answer is no, because the miners stopped selling their silver back into the marketplace. They refused to sell their silver back into the marketplace. Now, obviously, people saw this low price. They said, oh, I better invest in silver, better get in on silver while it's low. And that drove the price up quicker than really the supply could have. But I talked to the CEO of First Majestic Silver, one of the biggest miners in the world, and he told me that they did not sell a single ounce of silver into the marketplace when the price was this low. The price was artificially low. So they waited for the price to move up and then they started selling their silver back into the marketplace. So if we do see silver get driven down to as low as $12 an ounce, I mean, it's happened in the last five years, will it retain those levels? No, this is an artificially low level for silver. Realistically, if silver moves below $15 an ounce, that's kind of the bottom for silver. Because with inflation, the cost to mine silver has gone up. It really costs like around $15 an ounce to actually mine this silver out of the ground, all of the diesel for the trucks, etc. In my opinion, the absolute bottom for silver is like 15 bucks an ounce. You can see right here, it's like 14, 15 bucks an ounce. That is, in my opinion, really the lowest that silver could go. I do think it would be a temporary low. And ultimately, I think as we move forward, that the Fed is going to start cutting rates. I think it's an election year. Why would they not cut rates? It makes the economy look better. And so it's obviously in their favor to do so. Also, inflation has seemed to have come down over the last few months, so they can drop rates. And I think that once they do, we are going to see silver start taking off. I think the same is true for gold. What is the absolute bottom for gold? Well, let me zoom in here and we can see during COVID it went down to uh, around $1,500 an ounce. So I think that is kind of the bottom for gold. I mean, really, I don't think gold is going to go that low. I would be really surprised if we saw gold go below $1,800 an ounce. I really do not see that happening. But uh, ultimately, I think the same is true for gold as well. I think that once the Fed does start cutting rates, and basically everyone is predicting that they will this year at some point, right, I think we're going to see gold take off as well. So if we look at what some of the banks are predicting gold will do this year, we can see a lot of them are bullish on gold. We have Bank of America saying that gold could finish 2024 at $2,400 an ounce. This is one of the biggest banks in the world, and they're saying gold could definitely hit $2,400 this year, we have UBS Bank. They're saying $2,200 gold. Uh, Goldman Sachs is saying 
2133. Now, not all of the banks are bullish on gold. We've got World Bank Group. They're saying $1,900 an ounce. Uh, Citigroup, however, they're saying $2,400 gold as well. So ultimately, I think most of the banks are predicting gold price is going to go up. And I certainly think that will be the case as well. The last thing I want to mention is that I talked to Harry over at Harry's Coin Shop about the best metal to be buying in 2024. What type of silver you should be stacking. He gives his opinion in this video right here on the screen. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, if you're not able to, I'll put a link to that video down below in the description. Definitely go check that one out and hear his opinion on the best silver for 2024. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.